Hey, what's up? I'm Jess. If you're new here, welcome. Thanks for clicking on the video. And if you're a returning subscriber, what is up? If you're a returning subscriber, you may be curious as to why I am not in my chair like I normally am. And that is because I'm lazy. This series I've been doing is called Jess's Declassified 2021 Survival Guide. I do a bunch of different goofy shit to keep myself entertained during quarantine, you entertained, and hopefully we find some new fun activities to do and learn something from it. Today's Jess's Declassified is going to involve the website Oneello. And it was like Pinterest, but for clothing mostly. It was in 2012. I could not be more different from 2012 me. We're gonna see what I was hoping people would buy me. This is a cringe warning. I'm so certain this will embarrass the hell out of me. I have not looked at any of it because I was too scared to. So, yay. Let's start with the profile. The picture, the profile picture, I stand by it. The bio, I already have problems with. My bio says, I'm Jess. I like cheese pizza, the music your dad listens to, the Toronto Maple Leafs, and boys with goofy smiles. Sure. Sure, Jess, whatever you say. Starting off, these are not terrible things at the beginning here. <laughs> I still fuck with some of these things. Say perhaps to drugs, hilarious. I like skeleton stuff, apparently. I do notice already a trend with that. Oh, oh no. This is, this is very 2012. Oh no. There are only two seasons, winter and baseball. No, ma'am. I got 99 problems and they're all due tomorrow. Well, it's a good fucking thing I never bought that shirt. I wanna say that I wouldn't wear the pizza leggings now. I do want to say that, but I just don't know. Oh no, 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 no. Who hurt me? I would have deserved to be bullied if I wore these shirts. I still think they're funny, but I would never let anyone wear this that I cared about. I put the pro and procrastinate. <laughs> no wonder I was bullied. Oh, this is embarrassing. I own this one still. Oh no, no, no. I think, oh, this whole row is just, as we scroll, it's getting worse and worse and worse. <sighs> Floral shorts. Who came up with that trend, might I ask? These are horrible. Okay, the crop top's fine, and I like the jacket now. But what is happening with the three others? What are we looking at here? This brings me back to an old time. Does everyone remember, like, peplums? Like a little, little skirt attached to your shirt. Why did we embrace that trend, you know? Like, who, who started that trend, and why? And the other things, again, this peplum this like skirt attached to your shirt. Why, why did we let that happen? And more skeleton stuff. How much skeleton stuff does a girl need? Nothing. A girl does not need any skeleton stuff really, except for Halloween, maybe. Cartoon zebras, uh, whatever. This is the least of our problems in this row. Mamma mia. Oh, Jess, Jess, Jess. Guess who's going to the gym today? If you guessed me, you're very wrong. Why? Why would I? The crossbone leggings are bad because they're, how would you even know that they're bones? They just look like X's. The devil made me do it? Made me do what? So far of everything we've seen, this line is okay. I'll let it slide. This I could all want, so. Oh no, no. Oh no. It's only going to get worse from here. I know it's only going downhill. Ah, uh, oh, why? Why did I save this? Oh my God, 1-800. Here's another trend I would love to address. And that is the high-low skirts and dresses. In the front, they were high, but at the back, they had a long train hanging off them. Those look stupid as hell. And I wore so many of them. You know, I feel like a lot of these I got from Tumblr. I saw like cool, hot Tumblr girls doing it. I'm like, I could pull it off. No, 2012 me, you could not pull it off. 
let's talk about it later. No, let's not. Okay, this, this is funny. I'm not sure if you can tell that I loved pizza. I think my personality in 2012 was just like liking pizza. But look at, look at this. What did I just say? Oof, in the pattern leggings. Pattern, le I don't even like cats that much. I mean, I like cats, but like, this is to a degree I, I don't know why everything was cats and skeleton themed. No. The Harlem Shake was a cultural reset for many of us. I, I would do so much to go back to the moment in which Harlem Shake was a viral trend. Why did we all do that? Oh no, more skeleton stuff? Life's a beach. Is it 2012, Jess? I own these socks. I own these. Ooh, why that? Why that bathing suit top? This girl also is frightening looking. This feels like what two white women would wear to Disney, you know? I don't know which of these is worse, actually. I think it's the kill everyone on the beanie that's definitely worse though. Because at least the K1 indicates some sort of knowledge of chemistry. This is a horrible dress. This looks, this looks bad on the model. This could not have been something I wanted. That is ugly as shit. Oh, this was also a thing. The studded blouses. I still don't understand that trend. What's happening here? This is a crime against humanity. Free city sweatpants I had on here. Could I be more of a Toronto Jew? And the, the, the scarves, weirdly tribal patterned infinity scarves were so bad. What do you think 2012 me thought that meant? And this is a weird dress too. Let's get weird. Let's wear this goddamn dress. <laughs> they kind of look like they're holding hands. Oh. Why did I want to be a skeleton so bad? I think I thought I was edgy saving this. I'm not like most girls. I like to wear skeletons all the time. Okay, we're coming to some graphic tees. Let's take a moment. Everyone prepare yourself for the graphic tees we're about to read. When you're sad, just remember you don't look like you did in sixth grade. I saved this in, in probably eighth or ninth grade. And let me just show you what that looked like. And then Satan said, put the alphabet in math. I don't disagree. Life should be more like hockey. When someone pisses you off, you just beat the shit out of them, then sit in the penalty box for five minutes. Okay. I don't know why I wanted this one. Because this is not me. Politically or otherwise, I'm a huge supporter of them, but I am not in that committee. Oh, here we go. My relationship status, you ask? Netflix Oreos and sweatpants. Cause it's funny. Girls who love football are not weird. They're a rare gift from God. So here's my, my pretty little liars phase. And I thought that you could just wear like whatever you wanted on a shirt. If I had an interest, slap it on a shirt. You like a movie, put it on the shirt. Favorite food, shirt. Favorite drink, shirt. Favorite song, shirt. Whoa there, where was I going to be going wearing this? I am a female. Phi equals iron, male equals man. Therefore, I am Iron Man. Yup. You know, there are worse things you could put on a hat. You know, like kill everyone, for example. Oh. You know what? This dress screams Taylor Swift. What is this? Who would wear this? And why would that top? What? Harvard Law School, just kidding. Got you there, didn't I? What are those? What are those? Why would I wear them? I don't really get either of these, to be fair. This is a funny bra though. The hand-painted bra is kind of jokes. You got an interest? Put it on a shirt. I should clarify, I have no concept of basic mathematics, so this is so much worse. You have a thought and you put it on a shirt. What did I tell you? This, this catchphrase sweater, I would absolutely still wear. This aisle scream, this to me screams 2012 Tumblr. I cannot tell you why. Oh Jesus, that's hideous. These are bad. Bananas. Tell me why I would want either of these leggings. Oh, Jesus, I was, ooh. No. Absolutely not. That is bad. Oh, no, no, no. No! 
Absolutely not! Absolutely not! This one aged poorly. Okay, okay, so what did we learn today? Number one, not everything needs to go on a t-shirt. I guess this brings me to number two. Just because you can, it doesn't mean you should. You can put everything on a t-shirt, but should you? If you have a Winello account or had one, I, I urge you to go check out what you saved. What a trip down memory lane, you know? I think I'm, I'm gonna go now, but it was good to see you all. Catch you later.